If only you can believe, all things are possible. To him who believes, underline all things. Faith makes all things possible for the one who believes. If you can believe, there is nothing like impossibility. Jesus said in Mark chapter 9 and verse 23, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Now we see, according to the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, chapter 9. Okay, let me start from chapter 10. Chapter 10, verse 1. Jesus called his 12 disciples to himself. He gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. He said to them, Go and preach the kingdom of heaven. Go and preach it. It has come. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. You have received freely. Go and give freely. If you are told that, will you believe it? I give you power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every sickness and every disease. Go, preach. The kingdom of heaven has come. Will you believe it? Heal the sick to prove it. Cleanse the lepers to prove it. Raise the dead to prove it. Cast out devils to prove it. You have received freely. You have received the power to get this job done. Do you believe it? You see, the problem the church has is unbelief. When I look at people and say, we are fasting for 30 days, I say, for what? Listen, fasting is not a crime. If you want to fast, fast, but why are you fasting? Many of us fast because we don't believe the word of God. We want to do something that will qualify us to receive God's promises. If God says, I want to give you power, we want to pray and fast so that we can say, we fasted for God empowered us. He called the twelve. He gave them power over all devils to cast them out. All devils. Devil of madness. Devil of cancer. Devil of asthma. Devil of arthritis. Devil of hunchback. All devils, every evil work is the product of the devil. If it's somebody who is epileptic, that is the work of the devil. He gave them power against all unclean spirits. Every sickness is the product of the work of an unclean spirit. He gave them power against all unclean spirits to cast them out. To stop their works, to remove them, and then to heal the sick of every kind of sickness and of every kind of disease. Said to them, Go, as you go, preach, saying to everyone that the kingdom of heaven has arrived. Where is it? They never asked because they believed it. Heal the sick to prove it. When the kingdom comes, the power of God comes to establish. The rule of God in every place, in any place and all places. When the power of God comes, that power comes to establish the government of God in this earth, in this world. Go and preach the arrival, the coming of the kingdom of heaven to this earth. Don't tell men to, to repent and die and go to heaven. Go and tell them that heaven has come here to meet you, for you to live here on earth, enjoying heaven on earth. That's a work. Do you believe it? Listen, if only you can believe, all things are possible. Your faith can do anything God can do. The reason God gave you and I faith is to empower us, to enable us to do all God can do. If you can take the shield of faith, you can quench every fiery darts of the enemy, every arrow from the wicked. You can stop every work of the devil. Ephesians 6 verse 16. You can take the shield of faith and defend yourself and those who are with you from every harm, from every evil, from every work of the devil. Christ came that he might destroy the works of the devil. How? By faith. And everywhere he went, he went there doing good. 
That is destroying the works of the devil and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. It's all about faith. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized, believes first. And is baptized shall be saved. And whoever does not believe shall be damned. Now, these are the signs that shall follow those who believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak the language of heaven. Speak the word of God. Speak with new tongues. Speak life instead of death. Speak abundance instead of lack. Speak prosperity instead of poverty. They shall talk health instead of sickness and disease. They shall speak new tongues. The tongues of life for the power of death and life is in your tongue. They shall speak controlled words. They will control their tongue. They will tame their tongue. They will be, they will be wise enough to speak like God. At all times, when they see darkness, they call light into being. When they see poverty, they call prosperity into being. When they see scarcity, they call abundance into being. When it's like there's no way, they declare mountains be removed. They make ways. Speak with new tongues. Confront and conquer serpents. Take up serpents. Challenge the devil and destroy him. He said, take up serpents. Say, I'm going to take up this one in the fight. Confront and conquer them. He said, if they drink... Anything poisonous, it will hurt them. He says, they shall lay their hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. And they went and preached the gospel everywhere. And the Lord was walking with them, confirming all they said with wonders. Do you believe that you can do what God said we can do? He said, go on. If you believe, you can do this. Many pastors don't believe anything. So, when they see the sick, they recommend medicine, because they don't believe the power is in their hands. These hands are the hiding place of God's power. I remember 1995 December. One big boy came and sat on my buttocks. It thing grew, became big, covered my right buttocks, and uh, had pause. It was, I checked with mirror, it, had, it was yellowish in color. It was ready for operation. I woke up one morning, and I, what is the problem? And the Lord came, fired the wall. He said, I've given you my healing power. You know, why are you waiting for that? To, do you want to go to the hospital and be a pre report? I said, no. You want to go and be tired of People come and say, sorry, pastor. I said, no. Then, Scripture jumped out. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zero Babel shall be made plain, I put my hands up. It was in the pot, hot coals of fire in my hands. I carried it, I put the hands on where the boy was. And he became cold. And I declare, Who art thou, great mountain? Before Ambassador Promise, the governor, Zero Babel, be made plain, disappear, never to reappear. In Jesus' name. I removed my hand and I sat properly. You know what? As God lives, that was the end. I never felt any pain. I went to work, came back. When I checked again, my body was normal. There was no pain. You know, when you have when you have pores, the body, the skin is already decayed. They should be peeling. My body became normal. The pores disappeared till tomorrow. 1995 December. Till tomorrow. Never to be seen again. Listen. I'm telling you reality. The boy that was big and ripe sat on my right buttocks, disappeared. The mountain was leveled forever. There's healing power in my hands. If I touch you, no sickness can, no sickness can remain in you. So you need to believe what God said about you. Believe it. When you can believe, you can operate like God. When you believe, you can operate like God. And this is why many of us are not operating like God because we don't believe. We don't believe. In Matthew 17, verse 20, Jesus said, hmm, If only you have faith. As a grain of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, mountain be removed and be cast into the sea. Move from here to that place and it shall move and nothing will be impossible for you. If only you believe. Every problem we have is the problem of unbelief. The problems Christians have is the problem of unbelief. It's not prayerlessness, it's unbelief. We don't be, they don't believe, that's a problem. Even when they pray, they don't believe. They pray for healing, they go and look for drugs, they don't believe. Since 1991, May 31st, I have not known sickness. I have not taken any physical or any, any medication. Never. You know why? I walk in health. And I know what to do if the enemy attacks. You can operate like God. We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believed and spoke, so we also believe and we speak. God believed and spoke. He saw results. Christ believed and spoke. He saw results. When you believe and speak like Christ and like God, you are going to see the same results. My prayer for you is that from today, you will know that you have faith to operate like God. Don't 
limit yourself again by thinking unbelief thoughts of those unbelief. Believe and all things shall be possible unto you. God bless you. I'll see you again in our next video. Peace.